Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. This is going to be an update video showing you how to set up your Dero node and how to set up your Dero wallet using the command line interface. That way you can securely connect to the Dero network and securely store your Dero in your own wallet. Now in this video, what we'll do is we're going to download the command line interface suite. That way you can have access to your node and your wallet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to register a brand new Dero wallet. We're going to run our node. And we're also going to show you how to connect to the RPC bridge. That way you can access third-party add-ons or third-party applications like the Dero Dex and DeroNFTs.com. Now, I know the command line interface looks intimidating, but once you start to use it, you realize that it's actually very easy to use. It's very intuitive and it's very, very fast. So what we're going to do today is make sure that you can you know, get a proper knowledge of setting up your node and setting up your wallet. That way you can access both with a simple command line and be comfortable storing your Dero in your command line interface wallet. So we're gonna need two things. The first is gonna be the Dero CLI wallet for Windows. And I just clicked on Windows there. I'm currently on Dero.io in the download section. And I'm just gonna click on CLI wallet. I'm gonna hit download and it's gonna download the file for me. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm just going to go back to my browser here that's the first step. The second step is we're going to need to download the Dero RPC bridge from the Chrome Web Store. This is what will allow you to connect to third-party add-ons or third-party applications like the Dero Dex and like Dero NFTs. And you'll see that once you install it, it will show up here under your extensions area on your browser. I'm currently on Brave right now. And once it's installed, you'll see something like this here. So once you have your RPC bridge installed, we can just minimize our browser for the time being. And you can see now that we're back here on our window where we just downloaded our file for the Dero command line interface wallet. So what I'm gonna do now is just go to my desktop and hit right click and then go to new folder and just type in Dero demo. And I'm going to drag the command line interface wallet folder into this new folder here that I just made. And now you can see when we open this, we have our folder here and we have everything that we need to begin the process of syncing to the Dero network through the node for the first time and to register a wallet. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to sync our Dero node to the network. And what I'm gonna to do to actually have this accomplished is I'm gonna go here into the address bar and just type in CMD. And it's gonna open a terminal window for me. Within the Dero folder, you have to make sure that you're in the folder where the application is stored. And then this is the command that you're going to use. Dero D, Windows AMD64, and then just fast sync is the one command that you want to use to sync your node quickly. That way you can use it right away. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to allow access. And you can see here now that the process has begun. So this process here might take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Once that's completed, we can move on to the next step. All right, and we've completed step one, and now we've begun step two. And then in between step one and step two, there's usually about a 30 second pause, but before step two begins. So just be aware, nothing is frozen. This is completely normal. Step two will progress from 0% all the way up to 100 once again. And I believe the process should take around another 10 to 15 minutes to complete. I believe it used to be a little bit shorter, but as the blockchain expands, I believe this process takes a little bit longer. So. 15 minutes for step one, usually around another 10 to 15 minutes for step two, and then the node will be fully synced to the network and we'll be ready to create our wallet. The reason for doing this process is simple. We wanna to connect to our own node versus using a remote node that has been set up by either a pool or another person on the network. This removes any security risks at all. Once you're connecting to the network with your own node, it's only your PC connecting to the network itself no one knows or sees what's going on, and you're the only one who's completely responsible for what's happening. All right, now you can see that step two has completed here. Full disclosure, that took closer to 30 minutes to complete, but now the bootstrapping is completed, and now you can see here that we are currently syncing to the most recent block. We're about 74 blocks away, and you can see the hash rate and how many peers we've connected to. And then once we are fully synced to the blockchain, our node will be fully green and we should just see that momentarily here. And then once we're fully green, our node is completely synced to the network 
and we're ready to rock. And now you can see that we have hit the most recent block here and our node is now completely green and it is ready to go. So now that we've done this, we can now close our node and I will show you the correct launch command that you're gonna use every single time moving forward when you connect to your node. So I'm just gonna close this now and I'm gonna get the new launch command for you. And now all you need to do is the same process we did the first time. We go up to the address bar here and you're just gonna type in command CMD, hit enter, and then I'm gonna paste in the new launch command. What this is command is gonna be is gonna be your Duro D, the same command we used the first time, but the new command is gonna be the RPC bind, and this is gonna bind your IP address to the RPC bridge. That way you can always connect your node to the RPC bridge to use websites like Darrow NFTs and the Darrow Dex. So what this is here is the end of this IP will always be 10102, but this section here will be your IP address. The best way to find this is to just go into your network settings and then you would go to ethernet and then your IP address will be right here. And you would just copy this and you'd paste this into the window where I am currently on the command line interface. So now at this point, all we need to do is hit enter and you'll see now that our node will start up once again and it will sync to the most recent block, which should only take a few seconds. Perfect. And now our node is completely synced. So now at this point, all we need to do is just minimize this and it's gonna run carefree in the background. So when you're connecting to your node from now on, I'll put this launch command in the description of this video. That way it's easy access and I'll put it step-by-step step. that way you guys know which commands to use um, in which order. That way you can access your wallet and your node. So I'm just gonna minimize this now and we'll move on to the wallet section of this video. So now all we need at this point to do is input our launch command to start our wallet. And I'm gonna show you that now. So we'll do the exact same process again to open up our wallet. So we just go to the address bar, type in CMD, and now we paste in our launch command. Now you can see the launch command here is opening the wallet this time. And then it's gonna ask us to connect our daemon address. So this is what's gonna connect your command line interface wallet, this window, to your node. So you're just gonna paste in your IP address here like we did the last time. And then this is gonna be for your RPC server login. So that add-on, that extension that we connected to our browser is gonna require a username and password to connect to your wallet. So you can make this anything you want. So if I want, I can just choose to go back here and replace this you know, with RBM crypto demo and then, you know, hey123 as a password, okay? And then once I initiate this launch command with my IP address and this login information, it's going to then start my wallet and then we can register a brand new wallet. And now that my IP address is in, I'm gonna hit enter here. And now you can see that it's gonna start my wallet and it's gonna bind the RPC bridge username to RBM Crypto Demo and the password to hey123. So this is, the, this is a final step that we'll be looking at later on once we create our brand new Darrow wallet. So at this point, you can see our wallet is green. It's connected to the network, to the most recent block, and it's basically using our node to be connected to the network, right? We've connected our daemon in the launch command to our wallet. So our node that we initially set up is now connected to our wallet here. So now what we can do at this point is we can create a new wallet. So I'm gonna hit two. You can see here, this is a menu command style interface. And it's only using your keys, right? Your number keys. So you can see that creating a new wallet is number two. So we'll hit two and then we'll enter a default wallet name. So I'll just put RBM demo video and then hit enter. And now I need a password for my account. So I'll just create a password. Hit enter, confirm my password, hit enter once more, and then I'm gonna choose my language. So I'm English, so I'll choose zero, hit enter, and there you go. Now we have created a wallet, and you can now see your private key here, which is 25 words. You're gonna to wanna to write this down, because in case something ever happens to your computer or your wallet, this will be your backup key to make sure that your funds are recoverable. 
always make two copies of this and never make a digital copy. Always use pen and paper or, you know, an alternative with some of the options out there with, you know, steel alternatives and stuff like that. Just never make a digital copy and always store them in different places. So once you're completed writing down these 25 words, we can then hit the number four button, which is registering your account on the blockchain. You can currently see here that it's not green. It says account unregistered. So we put in the number four and we hit enter. And now you can see our wallet address. This is gonna be your wallet address moving forward is now being registered on the network and it's gonna take a couple of minutes to complete. This usually can take anywhere between five to 15 minutes. So please be patient. And once it registers, you will then see this entire command here at the bottom will be green and will be ready to rock. All right, and now you can see that the registration text ID has been successfully dispatched to the network and our wallet has now been registered. So within a few seconds here, you should see this turn green. There it is. And now our wallet is ready to go. So we've registered on the network. We have a brand new wallet address. If you want to display your account address, you would just hit the number one, just like the menu says, and hit enter. And it's gonna give you your wallet address. So this is where you would deposit your Dero to from an exchange, right? So if we wanna fund our wallet, we would then just copy this address with control C. And now we can go to an exchange like Trade Ogre, and we can withdraw some Dero to our account which I will do right now. All right, so I'm over on Trade Ogre. I have a small amount of Darrow available to me, and I'm going to withdraw five Darrow to my brand new wallet address, which you can see here. So I'm just gonna put in five, and then I'm gonna submit from withdrawal, and then we'll head back on over to our command line interface wallet and wait for our Darrow to arrive in the next 30 seconds. All right, so we're back on our wallet here on our desktop, and you can see that the five Darrow has arrived very quickly to our account. And now if we wanted to, we could just close our command line interface wallet and our Dara would be safely stored in our wallet on our desktop. If we want to then reopen our wallet, all we would do is use the exact same launch command we used the first time, and then you just log in and you'd be right back on this window. So I'm just gonna do that process, that way you can see how it works and how to get back to this exact screen. So all I'm gonna do now is just close this. So we'll just go over and click on our Dara demo folder here, and we'll go inside, and we'll then hit CMD. And now we'll just paste in our launch command which just opens our wallet and it binds to our node and then our RPC login information. We'll hit enter and now our wallet opens once again. And this time, instead of hitting create new wallet, you're gonna open existing wallet. So you'll just do one and then you'll type in your wallet name, which is RBM demo video and then your password. And there you go. You've now connected your wallet, you're back logged in there's your five Darrow, and now your account is ready to rock. So you'll see you still have your node open here, right? Your node is open, sync to the most recent block, and your wallet is connected to your node with your wallet balance. So now both your wallet and your node are open. If we wanna minimize both of these, we can actually head on over to darrownfts.com right now, and I'll show you how to connect with the RPC bridge. All right, so we're over on Darrow NFTs at the moment, and you can see now in the top right-hand corner, this is where our bridge is. So this add-on here, or this extension, is gonna allow us to connect our node and our wallet to the bridge to be able to connect to websites like Dara NFTs. So at this point, all you need to do is paste in your IP address here that you use for your launch commands. So I'm gonna paste mine in right now. And then once my IP address is in, I'm gonna hit set. Now you can see that our node is connected to the network. And now our bridge can begin to use our node to do work with different applications and websites. Now all we need to do now, we can leave our wallet RPC address the same, and we're gonna, just gonna use our login that we created when we used our launch command. So for myself, that would be RBM crypto demo, and then the password would be hey123. I'm gonna hit set, and now you can see our wallet and our node are now connected to the RPC bridge. So we're fully connected, our wallet and node are minimized, they're working, and now our bridge has connected that to the network or to different applications that want to use our wallet and our node. So now we can go to wallet, and we can go to select wallet, and you can hit reload if you want, and now you can see that our wallet is in the RBC extension, so we can just click on this, 
If this is not showing, like I said, you can hit reload and it will make sure that your wallet is now synced to the website. So our RPC bridge is connecting our node in our wallet to DarrowNFTs.com and now we can access the website with our wallet. So at this point, I'll just show you some of the integration or the process that you would do to, let's say, show your Darrow coins that you have in your wallet. You would just go to tokens and you would select Darrow. And now you can see our wallet balance is five Darrow. And this shows that you're prob properly connected to your wallet and your node to DarrowNFTs.com. At this point, all you would do is just hit actions, add to wallet. And you can see here that it's added Darrow. And now you can just go back up here and then go to tokens. And you can see now you have five Darrow and you are ready to, you know, buy, sell, or trade on DarrowNFTs.com. And that is exactly how you can create your very own wallet by setting up your own node and then how to use the launch commands to connect your RPC bridge to be able to use your wallet and your node to buy things on different platforms. Now there is one more thing that I wanted to show you before I end this video and that is how to send some Darrow. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna head back on over to our wallet and we're gonna begin the process to transfer some Darrow back to another wallet or to an exchange. Okay, so we're back on our Darrow command line interface wallet. We have our five Darrow. I'm gonna transact this. I'm gonna send it back to the exchange. So what I'll do now is I'll hit five, transfer Darrow to another wallet. I'll put in my password. I'm gonna paste in my destination address, hit enter. And now it's gonna ask me where I would like to send or how much I would like to send of Darrow. I'm just gonna hit, you know, 4.95, leave a little bit of there for gas. And I'm gonna hit confirm transaction. Once that's done, it's gonna dispatch my transaction ID. And then after the next block syncs to the network here on our node, you will see that the Darrow will be sent and you can then wait for it to arrive in your other wallet. There we go. The block has updated and the Darrow now has been transacted. And that is pretty much everything that you will need to know about how to set up your own node, how to create your own wallet, how to register that wallet, how to also use the launch commands to connect to the RPC bridge, and then also how to add the Darrow token to DarrowNFTs.com and connect to DarrowNFTs.com. That way, if you wanted to purchase some NFTs, you could. And then lastly, how to send and receive. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me here in the comment section or on Telegram and Discord. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.